unsigned. Well, it sounds silly to me. Mm. Written by a woman and dashed off in a hurry, too. Mm. It is a bold hand, Watson. A woman of strength and character. Capable of violence, I'd say. Like your uh, tiger's friend. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it, Holmes. It's a personal thing I have. Like... Son of a title, I see. The uh, family crest. Been to Russia, too. Samovar. A nice pair of icons. You know, it was beginning to rain when we came in here. Hmm. Ah, I see. Well, someone does. Do you know what this piece is called? The Spider's Web, a uh, ballet, apparently. And at this point, the spider has a fly. You gentlemen wish to see my husband? I'm Mrs. Chelsea. Oh, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Me? I thank you. I'm afraid my husband isn't home, Dr. Watson. I knew... My husband has other hats, perhaps you... Uh, I'm Mrs. Chelsea. Mr. Holmes, may I ask, did my husband go to your flat to consult you professionally? Then, Mr. Holmes, I would like to consult you professionally. Then you're in need of them. My husband is in trouble. He's being blackmailed. Six months ago, we returned to London from St. Petersburg, where my husband was music attaché. During his stay in St. Petersburg, he met a ballerina named Olga Yaklanov. Oh, yes. Yes. The troupe is playing in London now. They've been here all week. When my husband met Yaklanov in Russia, they became friendly. Oh, it was nothing more than friendship. You see, my husband is an amateur composer, and their friendship was based on mutual love of music. I see. During their friendship, my husband disclosed some music, secrets unthinkingly to Yachtanov. She demanded 5,000 pounds, but then he was transferred to London. Now she's renewed her demands. Uh, husband told you of this? Only of the original demand in St. Petersburg, but I know that she's renewed it here in London. Do you expect... I don't know. His whole routine has been upset. Mr. Holmes, you must help. Madam, in any form. Oh. Yaklanov. Oh, yes. I wonder, would you mind writing it down? Um. Yes, Dr. Watson? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> no, it... Do you wish to make a statement? You're not obliged to, but I must warn you that anything you say will be taken down and may be used as evidence. Uh, well, how... I'm sorry. Patience, Watson. Patience. I get, and this is a fine example of British justice. Of... <laughs> well, um, you know, it doesn't matter. Well, from what you tell me and the things are beginning to take shape. No, and feet. Oh, that doesn't mean anything, I'm sure. No, I suppose not, Lestrade. And you were saying the things were beginning to shape up, eh? Oh, yes. Well, you see, met this woman and he wants friendship. She doesn't. So she lures him in here and <laughs> Russian women. Take things like that seriously, you know. So all you have to do is place her here, Lestrade. Exactly. You have all the evidence you need that she was here. I have? The noteless trade. It tells... Well, I don't see it. Feet. What have feet to do with her meeting him? The numeral 12, Lestrade. Yeah, well, what about the feet? A slight confusion on the lady's part. Probably the influence of Cotney's stagehands. She added an H where there shouldn't have been one. What? Then spell it as she spelled it. 
but without the H. E R S. Precisely. Broken feet. And now that the case is solved. Feet. The hand of a strong woman. And yet you saw her, Watson. No will of her own. Absolutely no will. Well, help. Mm, perhaps too logical. Run when you expect them to run, and run when you expect them to attack. You know, rope music, that could be a motive. Thought about it myself on occasion. Handwriting, Watson. If only I could get to the bottom of it. I say, Holmes, I mean, the thing might drag on for days. Nope. There's only one thing to do with Mrs. Chelton. Why? Because it's perfectly obvious the only thing I can't get to the bottom of is this mysterious business of the handwriting. Yes, of course I do. Don't you? And uh, now, Mr. Holmes. The music to the spider's web ballet for us last night. Eh? Curious that term um, should know it's ballet music, which wasn't composed until after it left St. Petersburg. Well, I. Uh, she did everything she could to hide their meetings. Here, at that piano, naturally. Why? The budding affair of it was not, as we would have us believe, between her husband and Mademoiselle Yaklanov, but between herself and Mr. Smirnov. Ridiculous. Then how did you learn Shelton's ballet? I If you wish to make a statement, sir, you're not obliged to do so, but I warn you that anything you say will be taken down and maybe the shoes... No, Watson. After... No, I didn't. I mean, no, I, I didn't. Yet these are shoes, you... Mud on the soles. And the... After we left. Mr. Holmes, I don't think it's necessary that I explain anything. But you... Do you mean she did it, or...? Uh, oh. For love of me? And accomplished the double task of placing the guilt on Mademoiselle Yaklanov. Ah! For love. But to blame poor little Olga. Let I will forgive. You seem to forget, Mr. Holmes, that the music was found in Mademoiselle Yaklanov's room. Ah, yes. No. Are you sure this time? Almost sure from the beginning. I just couldn't explain the handwriting and the temperament. And there really wasn't a logical explanation. I mean, the strong-minded woman with the weak handwriting, and the weak-minded woman with the strong handwriting. The inconsistency... Yet she was clever in engaging me to make sure that Mademoiselle Yaklanov would be suspected. Do you wish to make a statement? <clears throat> not obliged to, but I warn you that anything you say will be taken down and may be used in evidence. One thing that confused you was her handwriting. Her handwriting and character, was. The evidence was logical, but the uh, personalities were not. Well, they were logical enough in their way, Holmes. Yes. That's it, Watson. They were just... I must devote more time to that, Watson. I must devote more time to that. <laughs>